Hi, welcome to LakeFS. We developed LakeFS because we believe there is a challenge with modern data lakes. What I refer to as a modern data lake is an architecture where the data typically sits on object storage on or off premise with an ecosystem of tools writing into it, modifying it, or reading from the object storage simultaneously. For example, several Kafka streams and other data sources write data into the lake. Multiple, multiple complex ETL processes that typically run on distributed compute take the raw data and transform it to data sets that are later unconsumed by different BI tools. This is a very complicated environment to operate in. The cost of this complexity is data quality, as well as high cost of error. Think about the last time someone questioned the accuracy of the data coming out of your system. This happens since many engineering best practices are hard to achieve on data lakes. We know that we should test things in isolation, but we don't have an environment to do so. We know that we should deploy into a staging or QA environment before deploying into production, but it usually doesn't exist. Furthermore, we know that no matter what we do, errors will happen in production. So we should have an automatic way to revert production changes. But today, it's an error-prune, heavy lifting manual process to undo changes in production. The good news is that all these problems were already solved on the application side. We have multiple developers contributing to the same repository simultaneously. Often, different users use different versions of the software, but we can easily reproduce a user error by using their exact version. LakeFS allows you to manage data the same way you manage code. It sits on top of your object store and provides you with Git-like capabilities, commit, branch, revert, merge, and so on, all through UI, CLI, or API, which could be very helpful for your data ops. The ecosystem of tools you have today can access the data the same way they access it today or via LakeFS, enabling the version control. LakeFS manages metadata. Each commit is a collection of pointers to objects on the LakeFS managed bucket. We do copy and write, meaning when you create a branch, no data is being replicated. And only once a new object is created, we will point to it. This helps achieve phenomenal performance on very big lakes. It also means that starting with LakeFS is very straightforward, since loading the data into the lake is a metadata only operation. Next, you can choose to either work in a sandbox and export the data out of LakeFS into your production or have only specific pipelines work against LakeFS without changing others. Then you can expand the use of with hooks. For example, add data quality tests before every merge of data into production. To learn more, go to docs.lakefs.io forward slash use cases and learn more about our use cases. Good luck and hope you enjoy like a fest. Thank you for your interest in LakeFS. While your demo environment takes a couple minutes to spin up, I thought we could go over a few things to help you get started as quickly as possible. Before you can do anything, you'll need to sign into your playground. To do this, simply copy and paste the secret and access key provided once your environment is ready on the login screen. And voila, we're logged into a brand new LakeFS installation. Here, we already have our first repository created called my repo. If we click into it, we'll see that it is empty. Empty is not the natural state for a repository. Instead, they prefer to be filled with data. Let's start by filling our repository with a few gigs of mobile performance data from a public S3 repository. To do this, we first install Lake Control, the LakeFS command line tool, and configure it to use our Playground Environments credentials. The exact code for your environment will be generated once it is ready. After configuring it, we can run lake control repo list to test that it is connecting to our demo environment. And it is. With lake control installed, we can now run the lake control ingest command to add the data into my repo on the main branch. 
Once added, we can take a snapshot of the commit, which generates a unique commit ID we can later reference in the code. This lets us recreate the state of the data at this exact point in time in the future. We can also create a branch to produce an exact replica of the data set on which we can try all sorts of crazy things without worrying about affecting the data for anyone else. Your playground environment is just about ready. You should now be taking your first commits and creating branches in no time. Best of luck.